Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have another fun story about a different show in my career called I Can Do That. It was a show that I did in uh, the summer of 2015 with Joe Jonas, Sierra, Nicole Scherzinger, Jeff Dye, and Alan Richson, hosted by Marlon Waynes. The premise was that we were all basically performers and competed against each other in crazy ass talents like Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, they actually came, Double Dutch, Jabberwockies, the best, and Harlem Globetrotters. It was seriously one of the most fun things I've ever done in my career, so I thought I would dig up some fun photos and clips so I can tell you guys all about it. It was basically celebrities that would try to step out of their comfort zone and do different things like be a Harlem Globetrotter, be a Jabberwocky, be a circus act, you name it. Like it's really anything. It's Penn and Teller, magicians, you know? I heard the other names. So Nicole Scherzinger was a part of it, Sierra, Joe Jonas, this comedian, Jeff Dye, and Alan Richson. And then the host was gonna be Marlon Wayans. Cut to, as hard as it was for me, I'll never forget doing like the finale number of Dancing with the Stars, season 19, the opening number. I was just in tears. Cause this was like the first time that I had left the show. Okay, so the premise of I Can Do That is basically we team up, right? So like for judges and contestants. So you've got the cast, we're on a couch, and then Marlon's like, show us the next talent. Harlem Globetrotters comes out. And like, just by like our reaction and the audience, basically we want to either do it or we don't want to do it, right? We're like, I can do that. No, I can't do that. Like, whatever. Anyways, Jeff Dye basically, chose Harlem Globetrotters, he was a huge fan, and he had to choose a partner, and you kind of go off of like the audience, like the noise in the audience, and like when he when he like point, pointed to me, because I was kind of like, oh no, that's like way out of my comfort zone, even though, cut to this clip of me playing basketball when I was younger, nobody knows, but I was MVP once in my day, when I was in like sixth grade, till I had acrylic nails, right? So I became a Harlem Globetrotter with Jeff Dye for the first week and it was so fun. Harlem Globetrotters, we actually trained with them for the week. So it was weird because it was like a mirror spitting image of what celebrities do on Dancing with Stars is what I was doing now for NBC. And um, we trained with the Harlem Globetrotters. They gave us their jerseys. I had their headband on. We learned like different tricks, like spitting the ball on our finger. I had to remove the fake nails for that week. And it was like, basically we had less than a week to learn the talent. And then we had to perform it in front of a live audience exactly like Dancing with the Stars. It was just so much fun. And basically the audience voted at the end because everyone had their own acts, right? So the audience voted who should win the night. Week two, Jabberwockies, huge fan. My little Filipino cousins, they're not really cousins, but my partner was Joe Jonas. I was so excited when I saw this because like they don't tell us who the acts are, right? So it's like we have to choose the act by like stepping onto a stair that lights up. So whoever gets to the top first, gets the act. I chose Joe. I knew he was a closet dancer. This guy's got rhythm. What's so funny though about the Jabberwockies, that mask that they wear, my face is, must be deformed because they had to put like extra padding because I couldn't breathe. So I had like some foam right here so that I could first of all see, second of all breathe, and third of all, have the mask stay on my face while I'm dancing. So basically we didn't come up with a concept until the last hour. Um, thank God that Joe is talented because uh, we had we learned basically the whole routine in less than 24 hours. And the first few days in the studio was us just like shooting in on Instagram and taking selfies. So um, Joe, this is when I, like Joe and I became really close and uh, he's really cool. So I had a great time and Jabberwockies, super talented. Like just the way that like, for me just to witness them coming up with something, it was just like, not everyone dances to that obvious beat that you hear. But man, the Jabberwockies are super talented and I love their teamwork. Cause it's like, they never talk over each other. They have like a team captain, but they all respect each other's opinion. And when anyone has an idea, like it's it's a one big love fest basically. And I think that's why the Jabberwockies have been so successful to this day. And I'm proud to say we kicked ass that night. So week three, Sierra, height difference. Love her. She's like actually the sweetest girl ever. I remember us going to Katsuya, the sushi place here in Los Angeles, and we were able to eat whatever we wanted. Like I remember Sierra's assistant getting her like hash browns and pancakes and like, cause you're burning so many calories and like dancing with the stars, you can't like half ass something that you've never done before. So we are full on double dutching you guys for like six, seven hours. Like Jabberwockies, I had to say it was kind of a breeze, even though like hip hop dancing for me is completely different. But with double dutching, it was like 
I remember me and Sierra getting so frustrated because we would do intricate stuff. Like we would go in there and these two amazing girls who double dutch like professionally are there. And like, there's a rhythm that you have to follow. And because of our height difference, you guys, I had to wear a platform. I had to wear a wedge. Because of this freaking wedge and those two ropes, I have a permanent ankle injury that just won't go away. I've like, I think I rolled my ankle like a million times. Anyway, it was well worth it because guess what? Your girl won again. Now talk about vulnerable. Something you'll never see me in is Spanx or spandex from head to toe. Now week four was Palopolis. Anyone know what that is? Comment below and let me know if you know what Palopolis is. Anyways, I didn't know until now. They're a, a different type of dance group that like make intricate shapes and use each other's body, hence the spandex from head to toe. And it's very like, it's a different type of dance and I totally embraced it, but it's not easy. Like talk about teamwork. They, you have to like literally, like you're carrying, it's like all about weight and balance and balancing each other's body parts. So here we are. The funniest was seeing Jeff die in that purple, like freaking spandex suit. You can literally draw his junk on a piece of paper. And here I am, hate wearing spandex, remind me of my ballet days. You can find out more about that if you subscribe to my channel and look at A Letter to My Younger Self, another video that I just did. Anyway, um, yeah, so it was very um, revealing and strange, but we embraced it and I think we won. Okay, just so you know, that's three in a row, three. You would think that I won the competition. Stay tuned. So week five, um, my, my next partner is Alan Richson. I appreciated his hard work and his tenacity to get through this grounded aerial um, talent because like, let me tell you, the word ground should not be a part of this because we were suspended in the air, having to be in the air. We were on this green screen, literally like, this was like, we had to, first of all, get used to all the blood rushing to our heads because this is how we were facing each other. Okay, so if you were the audience member, here we go. This is what you would see, but this would look like actually really cool because it'd be like a 3D effect. But for us having to like practice like that, I literally had migraines that whole week. But I think we won. You came in second. <laughs> we came in second. Let me tell you though, the whole cast of I Can Do That, including Marlon Wayans, who was the host, we all just went out every single night and we just had so much fun. Like all of us bonded and it was exactly what I needed during this hiatus that I took from dancing. Um, I'm not done explaining to you about the rest of the weeks that I've done on I Can Do That, but I just want to let you guys know that it was just like that feeling when I first did Dancing with the Stars, right? It was like it was so fun, everything was new and fresh and I just felt like this is the equivalent of like when I went to Argentina that when you, you can also look at this video. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, it was just nice. It was nice to like finally be trying different things and, and basically living like a celebrity on Dancing with the Stars, but not the celebrityness of it. It's more about learning a different skill every week. The only partner that I have, hadn't done anything with, I think was Nicole Scherzinger. So Nicole I've known because she was on Dancing with the Stars and danced with Derek Huff. Won the competition, she's a pussycat doll, as you guys know, and she's like, talk about a triple threat, that's Nicole Scherzinger. So we, I remember seeing like, there's like three different acts that came out, Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. I kind of have a connection with them because I danced with Emmett Smith. I remember the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders coming to our rehearsal once when we were rehearsing in Dallas. Now, with the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders, right? You would think, oh, this would be easy for Cheryl, she's a dancer. Nope, because you know what they do? They do these can-can, like legs in the air, legs in the air. And I'm sorry, my legs don't go in the air. So legs in the air, legs in the air, jump, land, split, like this. Guess who can't do a split? Your girl. No, <laughs> you would think, right? You're like, you're a dancer, you can't jump, you can't split, you can't do high kicks. Like, how are you a dancer? Cut to, I had no choice but to do a drop split with these long-legged girls next to me and I'm the short Asian-legged girl who had to fake the split and thank God for camera angles because it did look like I did a split but I really landed on my ass cheek. BTS, little BTS action for you. But like, this was not easy. If you look at this, the choreography is very intricate. Thank God Nicole Scherzinger is basically a professional dancer but we were shaking our pom-poms, we were giving it our all and it was really a close, to, like almost like it was between me and Nicole on who was gonna win this whole competition. I thought I had it in the bag, but Nicole Scherzinger ended up winning. But I was, you know, I was close. Anywho, 
we were supposed to do a second season actually. In a second season, we were going to be filming weird, but we we're going to be filming right at the CBS lot where we filmed Dancing with the Stars. And I don't know what happened to it, but like it was announced. We were all like most of us were going to come back. And um, yeah, I thought the concept was really cool. It never happened. It wasn't in dealt in my cards, I guess. So I'm realizing that I'm pretty sure I can say I'm the only person or ballroom dancer who's ever competed as a Harlem Globetrotter and a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. Hmm. Pretty impressed. Shout out to everyone involved with this super fun show. Make sure you like this video and leave me a comment below to let me know which of these talents you think you can do. And you guys know the drill. Please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Sending you all so much love and light, extra love and light today. Bye.